special thanks to Patreon supporter Transfighter8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary for here bringing you another Minecraft World War II Bath to Build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building HMS Sirius. HMS Sirius was a Dodo class light cruiser of the Royal Navy. She was built by the Portsmouth Mouth Dockyard with the keel being laid down on April 6, 1938. She was launched on December, September 18, 1940 and commissioned May 6, 1942. She saw service mainly in the Mediterranean area, um, serving with the invasions of Sicily and um, basically providing uh, support for troops in the vicinity of uh, basically the Mediterranean. Uh, later, she was uh, part of a reserve fleet uh, task force during the invasion of D-Day and during the, the rest of the war, she basically did uh, maritime patrols and all that. Uh, later on, she uh, still continued service after World War II, um, being paid off in 1949 and was put up for disposal in 1956. On October 15th, 1956, Sirius arrived at the, the uh, Blythe the Guard of Hughes uh, Blocklow for breakup and she was then scrapped from there on out. Um, so yeah, overall a pretty uh, interesting ship, uh, part of the Ditto class series of cruisers and really an interesting class nonetheless. Uh, this class here have supported f uh, three turrets, uh, dual guns, uh, packing 133 millimeter guns uh, in mounts of two. Uh, so three turrets in the front and two in the back. This is the later war configuration. So we're talking like 1943, 1944 uh, with the camouflage scheme that it has and also with the armaments that the ship is equipped with. Uh, but overall, really nice looking ship and gonna make an awesome addition to any of your BAFTA built fleets, especially for your British section. Uh, before we go and take a look at the uh, build, I want to go and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Trench Federate for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a video request of your choosing. Really helps support the work I do on my channel and is obviously greatly appreciated, so feel free to check it out. Again, link is in my video description. With that, let's go ahead and kind of take a look here at the um, HMS series. So. Going ahead and getting started with here, we have uh, the iconic camouflage it did kind of come in. Seemed like all the Dito class, which were basically a uh, series of six ships, uh, all had kind of a different camo scheme. So this one here is kind of a unique one for HMS series. Uh, so going ahead and starting off, we have our basically our three turrets here mounted in the front, uh, our conning tower here, and everything like that. Some uh, anti-aircraft gun positions, lifeboats, our smokestacks uh, mass here with, uh, I believe it did contain radar. Uh, we then have more anti-aircraft gun positions, your British uh, quad pom-pom uh, anti-aircraft guns mounted right here in the midship. Uh, the second funnel, kind of the rear uh, conning tower here, and you know the rear mass, all the little details and stuff like that, fire control systems and all that. And then we have our rear turrets here, turrets uh, four and five and uh, that pretty much rounds off the back of the ship. So overall, pretty nice, simple, uh, small ship and going to be a great addition to your BAFTA build fleets as a uh, cruiser going along with all the other ships that we have released so far. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we go ahead and start with layer one. One thing I want to mention is if you're completely new to my BAFTA build tutorials, like the way I like to structure these first few layers is I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is rebuilding the entire center line of the ship and then the right side and then it'll be up to you guys to take what we did on the right side and copy it over to the left side. It's pretty straightforward and really isn't anything too difficult and once we get for the first few layers then we're going to go and go to basically doing all the layer all together. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and kind of get started here. So the first thing uh, we want to go ahead and do here is make sure we build this the correct height in the water. Now layer 1 here is going to be basically level with the water. So as you can see here we have the blue concrete representing the water level. So very important to make sure that that's correct because if you don't it's going to sit really weird in the water. So just make sure that that is correct right there for it and once you are good to go we can go and get started. We're going to start off with placing down a red stained glass pane followed by a brick wall and then we want to go and place down a long row of red concrete. This row right here is going to be a total of 28 blocks back followed by two brick top slabs and two brick walls. From this, going ahead and going back up to the front, we're going to go out to the side here. We're going to place down two of our red stained glass panes, like that. We're going to then place down two brick walls, two brick upside down stairs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 red concrete blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down two brick ups down stairs back, and then two brick top slabs from those two brick ups down stairs, followed by one and two end rods back, and then a birchwood slab there on the very end. Once you have that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have for layer one. You're going to take what we did on the right side here, flip it over to the left side. Really straightforward stuff, and this we should have for this layer complete. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer number one for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our next layer here. We have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a andesite wall on top of this red uh, stained glass pane. We're going to then fall that up and place down a prismarine wall back from it, and then two cyan concrete blocks. We're going to then take our uh, spruce wood planks, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 of these spruce wood planks back just like that. And that right there is going to basically fill your whole center deck in like so. After that, on the end here, we're going to place down two stone blocks like that, going back from that um, that uh, spruce wood plank. After that, we're going to start working our way out to the sides here. We're going to place down a cyan glass pane on the side here of this second cyan co uh, concrete block. We're going to go ahead and place down two prismarine walls back, a stone block, and then again two cyan concrete blocks. After this, we're going to take our black concrete, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, black concrete blocks back. And then going to the side here, we're going to go and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 polished black stone buns along the side. Going to the back here, we're going to go and then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, cyan concrete, 2 blue concrete, and then again 1, 2, 3, prismarine walls, a blue stained glass pane, and then 1, 2, like green stained glass panes there on the very rear. And with that all done, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer 2. You're going to take the same thing we did on the right side over to the left side, and this is what it should look like from the top down view. With that complete, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down Dark Oak Kofinski on top of this wall, and we're going to have it opened up toward the front. We're going to take Dark Oak with Science and wrap around the two sides here of the fence gate. So, or actually all th these three sides. So, like this all the way around. And we then want to go ahead and place down a end rod here on top. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down two stone brick slabs back. A skeleton skull here to both sides of that slab. From this point here, we're going to place down a narrow dark oak defense gate here in the center, open it up toward the back of the ship, and we're going to then place down a warp stair in it for after the uh, after the fence gate. We then want to place down a skeleton skull to the side here, followed by a skeleton skull at a slight angle. Same thing over here as well, just like that to both sides. After that's all complete, we then want to go and place down a stone block here in the center, and then a daylight detector to both sides like that. We're going to go then place down a cyan concrete block back, followed by a second one. And go into the sides here. We're going to go and place down a um, cyan uh, glass pane on both sides here, and then a black stained glass pane going back from that. We then want to go ahead and place down another stone block here in the center, followed by a polished black stone wall to both sides, just like that. Go ahead and continue now. We're going to place down a stone block here. We're going to go ahead and then follow this up and place down an inside wall to both sides. We're going to go and repeat the same thing again to both sides. And we're going to do the same thing a third time. So just like that. After we get that done, we want to go then grab our blue concrete. We're going to place down a blue concrete block here, prismarine wall to both sides. And we're going to then take our stone blocks and place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone blocks down the center here. This point here, we're going to go take our stone top staff. We're going to place it down to both sides of this first stone block right here. We then want to go and grab a white bed. We're going to place down a white bed on top of these black concrete blocks here to both sides. And then once we get to this point here, we're going to also place down your stone brick up down stair, which will be coming off the side here of this stone block, like that. So it should look like this here. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and also a white bed. And we're going to place an item frame here on the side of the stair and, and white bed in the item frame rotate to its side. And same thing on this inside wall right here, we're going to do the same thing. So just like this to both sides here for little life rafts mounted onto the sides of the ship. After we get to this point here, we're gonna take our stone blocks. We're gonna place down a narrow row of one, two, three, four down the side here. We want to go and then grab ourselves some cord stairs, birchwood signs, and cord signs. We're gonna place down two cord stairs 
like this and then a quartz slab after those stairs and then go to the sides here of those stairs we're gonna place down birch with signs just like that same thing over here like that after that's all done we want to go then take a stone uh brick stair we're gonna place an upside down stair here to both sides so just like this and we're gonna then place down a blue concrete block here in the center we're gonna then place down a row of two or sorry just yeah actually a row of two black concrete and then to the sides here we're gonna place down a gray bed which we want facing this direction so the pillars are facing toward the rear there for the torpedo launchers we're gonna then place down our cyan concrete block there in the center followed by a row of two of cyan glass panes to both sides and then going down the center here we're to place down two more cyan concrete blocks with our prismarine walls to both sides we're going to place down there cyan concrete block here in the center again a cyan uh, glass pane to both sides cyan concrete block here in the center again and a glass pane to both sides as well we're going to go then place down a stone brick stair here on the very back a dark oak with cyan coming off the stair opened up toward it we then want to place down a redstone repeater on top of this uh, spruce wood block right there fall by a lever facing backwards like so a dark oak wood sign opened up toward the back and then coming off this fence gate we're going to go up with a end rod just like that and once we have that all complete there that is going to basically wrap up what we have for layer number three for the build here's what you look like from up above and as you can see we're starting to get the superstructure kind of built up and all that uh, but anyways that's it for layer three let's go ahead and move on to layer number four Alright guys, going ahead and moving into layer 4. To go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and place down a prismarine slab that's going to go on top of this block right here. Followed by a dark oak fence key off the prismarine slab facing forward. We then want to go ahead and skip a sp or actually in this space right here, we're going to place down a dark oak fence key. And we're going to go and then open it up toward the back there. From that, we want to go and then place down a stone brick stair after the fence key. And we're going to go and then place down an end rod right here. We then want to place down two black concrete blocks back and two black stained glass panes to the sides here of those black concrete blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a blue concrete block here in the center, followed by a warp stair coming off both sides of the block like this, and then an upside down stair coming off this side here. Coming off the faces of the stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame, and in that item frame we want to go ahead and place down a snowball like so. After that we're going to place down another um, end rod in this spot right here. And we're going to then follow this up by placing down a barrier block coming off the end rod with a stone button on the side here. Same thing over here, like that. After we have that all done, uh, we want to go then place down a stone brick slab here in the center, followed by an end rod to both sides. We're going to then place down a another stone block here in the center, a black concrete block here, and then a polished black stone slab um, on top of it, which we kind of got a little ahead of ourselves there, but we'll go ahead and just keep it um, as is. We then want to go ahead and grab a iron trap door, place it down on top of these two stone brick stairs, followed by an item frame coming off those blocks like so, or those uh, trap doors. We're going to then place down an item frame on top of this block here, and in that item frame we're going to place down a white bed like so. We're going to go ahead and then grab a lever, place a lever and have it facing toward the front and we then want to go and place down a redstone repeater on the stone block directly behind it. From this point uh, we're going to go and then place down a stone brick stair located in this section here. Polished black stone slab to both sides and a dark oak sign coming off the slabs like that to the side. We're going to go then place down a blue concrete block here on top of this here and then we want to place down a dark oak fence gate coming off of it toward the rear. And since we already did this mass, we'll just go and do this one as well, or this funnel. We're going to go and place down a stone block here, polished black stone slab on top, and then we want to go and then place down a iron trap door on top of this fence gate with a item frame coming off both sides of the iron trap door. So just like this, and snowballs in those item frames like that. After we have that all done, we want to go and then place down a end rod on top of these two glass panes. So just like this, and in the middle space here, we're going to place down a placeholder block. And we're going to have a skeleton skull come off both sides of those stone blocks like that. After we have that done, uh, we want to go then place down a stone brick stair on top of which is going to be actually a stone brick slab between these end rods and then a stone brick stair. And then we're going to place down a second stone brick stair back followed by an end rod to both sides of that stair again. And then an iron trap door on top of this stair right here. 
we then want to place down a item frame. And in that item frame, we're to place down a white bed. Like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down another end rod here. Followed by a stone brick stair. And then we're going to go ahead place down an end rod on top of these two glass panes, just like that. And we're going to follow this up by placing down a dark oak fence gate. Coming off the stair like so. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have for layer number four for the build. Here's what it look like from up above. Um, and with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer. Layer number five. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we move into layer number five. For layer five, we go ahead and get started with here and place down a cyan concrete block here on top of this one, followed by a cyan stained glass pane on both sides of that block. We're going to then place down a stone block, which is going to be right here behind this, and then we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate coming off both sides of the stone block like that. After that's done, we're going to then place down a polished black stone upside down stair in this spot here. And then to the sides here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this warp stair, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to then place down a prismarine wall on top of the stair here. And we then want to go ahead and place down a lever on top of this stone top slab out to both sides like that. Once that's done, we're going to then place down an end rod on top of this one here. A barrier block that goes up from those barrier blocks like that. And we're going to then take stone buns and wrap around the sides here of those barrier blocks, just like that. With that all done, uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to then place down a placeholder block here on top of that stone brick slab, and then a skeleton skull come off both sides of that block, just like that. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then skip our uh, attention back to the rear here. We're going to place down a end rod on top of this stair here, and we then want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on top of this end rod right here, with a end rod to both sides of the skeleton skull. And we then want to go ahead and go to the side here from these end rods and then up like this to both sides like that to go ahead and uh, make those little mass uh, bits and pieces that stick out to the sides there. And with that all complete, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for layer 5. And with that, we're going to move into our final layers of the build. Uh, actually, one quick thing to mention also is on the front here, we do have one end rod that goes on top of that one. So anyways, once that's all done, that is going to conclude layer 5, and with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers, we have layers 6 through 10. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go to this end rod right here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of it, followed by an end rod to both sides of the skeleton skull like that. After we have that done, we're going to then place down a barrier block on top of the cyan concrete block with a stone bun on top of the barrier block. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of this stone block here. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull to both sides of the stair, just like that. Once we have that done, we're going to then place down a iron trap door on top of this block right here. And then a skeleton skull on top of these two skulls to the sides here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a inside wall on top of this uh, wall right here. A stone brick stair going up. And we then want to go ahead and place down a end rod coming up both sides of this stone brick stair, just like that, followed by a iron trap door on top of the stair like that. Once we have that done, going back here to our end rods, we're going to place down one and two end rods up, followed by a dark oak fence gate coming off this end rod here. And we then want to place down a skeleton skull coming off the side of this end rod like that. After we have that done, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a inside wall here on top of this block here and then a end rod to both sides like that. We're going to then place down another end rod up from this wall and then a another end rod to both sides just like that. After we have that all done there we want to go and then take our iron bars. We're going to place down a row of two of iron bars across here and we're going to then uh, basically go up uh, at an angle from these barrier blocks. So just kind of go up at an angle here like so. So we have, should have an angle of four uh, once our barrier blocks we delete disappear. So just like that, row of four. And we're just going to go ahead and place down stone buns on top of each of them, going all the way to the top there. After we have that done, go ahead and uh, focus our attention here to our rear mast. We're going to go to this end rod here. We're going to place down one, two, and three iron bar or end rods up, and then the end rod to both sides of this uh, end rod on the very top. We're also going to place down one end rod that goes toward the rear. On top here, we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall. And then to the car on the top here, the stone brick wall, we're placed down an iron bar and then one out to both sides, like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and then take our barrier blocks. Uh, we want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three. Coming off the first one here, 
for this first end run for the front mast and we're going to then place down three stone buns on both sides we're going to then drop down from this just down one two three four five and six barrier blocks back so like this and then we want to go ahead and place down one two three stone buttons like here and then we're going to go ahead and place down our stone buttons here on the side of the barrier blocks just like that one on the side there after that uh we want to go and then place down a barrier block that comes down from this end rod a stone button and then a another barrier block that comes down from this stone button here with a stone button again on both sides of it just like that and once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up my design here for the HMS Sirius, the Dido class uh, light cruiser. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it good use. If you do want to use this build, I do I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thank you for a solid build between my channel where this video if this does a great social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for the projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Trench Fighter 8 for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that, though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.